Welcome back to the channel, YouTube. It's your boy, Chan Freeze, back up in the building with another banging ass video. And in this video, man, we're going to dissect my KD build, this demigod build that I made. Because 2K Labs went on my channel, put it on their Twitter page, and the community went bananas. The community had a lot of things to say about this build, looking at the attributes. They were not pleased, okay? They had a lot to say about the passing, about the about the rebounding, about the like the free throws they was just going in all city chimed in and said that 60 interior is triggering since it's one rating away from anchor and i ain't gonna lie i agree with them with that because i realized that after i made the uh, build that if i'd have put it up to 65 i'd have got that anchor badge but at the end of the day do i really need anchor badge i'm still getting stops in the paint i'm getting 11 rebounds 15 points 10 assists underrated reply guy chimed in also and said nah this build is so trash <laughs> That I'll literally never lose a single game in rec when getting mashed up against them, to be honest. And to be honest, homeboy, underrated reply guy. Listen, we can 1v1. I can show you what this build is really about. You know what I'm saying? Because real talk, my record in the city, I, I play solo rec a lot. But I go back to the city and I play 1v1. And I'm undefeated in the city. Yeah, you know I mean, my rec record is a little shaky playing with randoms, but I'm undefeated in the city playing that 1v1. You dig what I'm saying? So when you're looking at them stats and you're and, and thinking that this build right here is a pushover, nah, trust and believe, my guy. Trust and believe this build embarrasses people every time it's on the court, all right? Look, easy chase downs. You see me, like, I, like no matter what, like, come on, bro. I can get mashed up. This dude right here is like 7-1. Easily climb the chest, big block. So yeah, underrated reply guy, whenever you ready, bro. Anybody in the 2K community, to be honest with you, you know what I mean? I got no problem having friendly 1v1s with anybody in the community. You know what I'm saying? I've been dropping off some of your favorite YouTubers since 2019, but we ain't gonna talk about that. You know what I mean? I got some videos I never released. You dig what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I even, like, you go through the catalog, you may see something, you know? But yeah, so if I would change something with this build, I would change two things. I would, I would maybe put put it up to anchor dependent. You know what I mean? Because you know, I made this build really to have fun. Like my ball handling is high, my shooting is high. This build does everything I want to do, and really, and the reality is, I really wanted to like just embarrass people, get on this build, and have a good time. Now I miscalculated something with my rebounding and my vert, you know, and that's okay. And that's one of the things I would change. I would take everything off of my steal and add all of that to my rebounding. And I promise you, with that attribute slash slight attribute change. It is a true demigod, unstoppable. As you see, like, it's block after block, bro, in the paint. You know what I'm saying? Like, the chase down is crazy. Nobody's ever open once this build is in the vicinity. I make people scared to get in that paint, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. This is, like, bro, the game just started. You feel me? Game just started. Like, you looking at the stats, and like, game just started, bro. And I'm, and I'm bringing this back from seasons from when I first made this build. All right, so look, this guy talking about his high fly is better with a 96 strength. That's good for you, bro. This dude talking about trash 91 vertical and 97 driver dunk with low pass accuracy for a power forward. I think it's not a good build. That 91 vertical is what's giving me those crazy blocks out there. Now, that's why I said if I would do this build over, I would take everything off the steel and put it on, on, on uh, my rebounding because that 91 vertical and just bringing up the rebound into like a 50 something is going to be super OP. Trust and believe. Now, the other guy talking about, um, what you got here? How often do you guys post bills? Trash 97 driving dunk only at 56 passing accuracy. Just send the whole team at him before he reaches the restricted and have him make a read. No driving kick game at all. Trust and believe that guy right there, talented JB, has zero IQ. And playing against me, you would see that. I would expose people that think like that. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, yeah, I got a 56 pass accuracy because nine times out of 10, I'm not passing the ball, bro. I'm either going to break your ankles and I'm going to score. I could take it in for a dunk like this, or if I really choose, I could green it anytime I want because I'm lights out all over the court. You know what I'm saying? I could break your ankle and I say, you know what? Eh, Duncan ain't looking a good possibility right there. Let me take an open shot. I already broke your ankle. Why not? And if I don't take the shot, trust me, I'm going to pass it to the correct person. I'm going to make the correct play. 
You know what I'm saying? Now, again, with this build, yo, this build is so fun to play with. You know what I'm saying? I may struggle at times with the defense. I mean, not with the defense, sorry, with the re defensive rebound at times. But as you see right there, you can easily get those blocks. And off of the block, you easily get a rebound off of the block because they're slow to react after that. Big bodies in the paint all day. You know what I mean? That 97 driving dunk. Look at the chase down with the 91 vert. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. <laughs> Forcing the clamps is crazy. The force ball, uh, ball pickups. Now, like I said, I'm not really looking to pass. You give me any space, I'm taking that shot and I'm greening that shot. That's all day, every day. You dig what I'm saying? You're never open. If I'm around, chase that. I, I bait a lot of people to take a shot so I can just get the block. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like this is like Matumbo. You feel me? And why, why do I care about rebounding when I'm getting put back dunks over bigs all day? You know what I'm saying? Dudes be like 7'3", seven, 7'2", seven, and I'm embarrassing them. I make dudes quit all the time. And like I said, you give me an inch of space, I'm taking that shot 20% covered, still greening in their face. Easy snipe away. You know what I'm saying? Big blocks, that's a snatch block. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. You dig what I'm saying? This dude talking about zero, black hole, trash. You know what I mean? Homeboy right here, he has the right idea. He understands that this build is really and truly for the elite. He said, with the right person behind the sticks, it could be all right. But personally, I rated it about a 6. Personally, I rated it a 9.5 because, like I said, I should have took everything off my steel and put that on my rebound. And with everything on the rebound and from the steel attributes, it's, it's a 10 out of 10. Trust and believe that. You know what I mean? Uh... Larry said, what, for an interior rim runner build, it's nice. It's not really a rim runner build. This is an all-around build because clearly you don't understand. Like, I'm getting shots all over the court as long as it's open. You know what I'm saying? He said it just would improve acceleration. Uh, yeah, the acceleration kind of pisses me off at times. I ain't going to lie. I kind of seen that. You know, they did a recent, they did a patch a um, couple of seasons ago about the acceleration. Uh, this dude said, no passing, no rebounding, no close shot, no anchor, no steal. Oh, nah. Not for me, my guy. And I feel that. This build is really not for everybody. It's really and truly for elite type of players. You know what I'm saying? This guy said no passing, no rebound, or free throw isn't for me. And you're right. It's not for you. But it's definitely for me because I know my free throw. I know how to time my shots. And, I, you know, and with the proper box out and timing the rebounding, I'm going to get the rebounds. As you guys see in the beginning of the video, I'm over there with 11 rebounds. You know what I mean? 10 assists, 15 points. And that's me being nice because I got games when I'm dropping 40, 40, 50 buckets in the wreck like it's nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? So if I really want to sit there and be nice and share the rock, I'm going to share the rock, you know? But like I said, I would admit the only thing I have dif difficulty with with this build at times is just rebounds. That's it. So, you know what I mean? But for me, I like a challenge. You know what I mean? So that just makes the game more fun for me, you know what I mean? When I go against a, a dude that maxes out his, his big man and he thinks he's just super dominant in the paint and I show him that his build is big for nothing, yeah, you know what I mean? You feel me? Because this build literally, like, it's clamping. This build could guard anybody, all right? You guys seen it where I'm in the paint and I'm getting blocks in the paint off of all types of different bigs, you know what I'm saying? Clamping them at the, look at it, I'm clamping the perimeter right here. This is the 85 perimeter defense, big clamps, you know what I mean? And if you blow past me, that's cool, you feel me? Because I know I got another big down there, right? And really and truly, I was going to, I could have lined them up for a chase down block. Because that's what I do sometimes. I could let you blow past me and I'm going to just block you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's really and truly, you feel me? Get Like I said, give me any space, I'm green in that. You know what I mean? You see homeboy flopping back there because he can't believe what I'm doing. It's like, yo, this is a power forward, how he plays like this. You know what I mean? Easy. You dig what I'm saying? Look, I can't be stopped in the paint. If I ain't going to get that block, trust me, you're still not going to get that point. You feel me? Like, this build is super OP. And if I was to put, like I said, everything from the steals up on the rebounding, there's, this would literally be the best build in the game. You know what I mean? For certain people. For certain people. Now, the reality is also, I didn't make this build to be at center. You know what I'm saying? I didn't make it to be a center. Like, you see the, the blocks I get. Like, I get all types of blocks in this game with this build. But I didn't make this build to be at center. I made it to be a strong power forward that does it all. You know what I'm saying? That can handle people on the perimeter. That can switch and clamp up any guard, any big, anybody. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to support 
a powerful center, a real center. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be out there grabbing rebounds. And I got people like that that I play with at times where their main bill is a center bill. And we could go out there and we could dominate all day, especially on the tools. And like I said, like, I break ankles left and right, bro. So it's, and, and if I don't have, I didn't take a shot right there. If I don't have the shot, I'm going to make the correct pass. You know what I'm saying? So, again, what I would tell you guys to take from this video, right, is not, you don't want to always listen to everybody in the community. You want to make a bill. Some bills you just want to make for fun. You know what I'm saying? And I play a lot of solo rep. And guarantee, if I had a solid five, I would be in the program dominator. Dominator. With this build just like this. Dominator. Trust me. Like, you see, this build, when people watch me play, you're going to see the, the, the big that I'm playing with, the center I'm playing with right here in this uh, clip. He's, he tried to do the spin moves like me and try to dribble like me. Yeah, you know I mean, you're going to see again. I'm going I'm to show it again, him doing something else, trying to, right here, like, you know what I mean? Look, he, like, he could have easily dished it off. But, you know, like, I'm doing all this crazy dribble moves as a big man and making my way to the paint and still finishing at the paint, you know, and it, it encourages other bigs. They want to, like, yo, how he's doing this? You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't follow somebody else's recipe to make their build and play like that. Nah, I made this build to my liking, right? And sometimes, you know, you got to be a little different. You got to think outside the box. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, like, well, to the current season, like, I just took you guys from October all the way up until March, right? We're in the current season in March right now. And you see my build been dominated all these seasons, embarrassing people, right? It's light work, bro. As long as I time these blocks, like, come on, they can't do nothing in the paint. Like, you see it. So again, like I'm gonna say, it's good to look at these build videos that other uh, streamers put out. You know what I'm saying? But always tweak it a little to your liking. You know? Because at the end of the day, it's you playing the game. You're not playing it for other people. You're playing it for yourself, to enjoy it yourself. Everybody know 2K, like, it's a struggle already to enjoy the game. Why am I going to make a boring build? Nah, I'm trying to have fun when I get on this game. You know what I'm saying? Simple. Like, the ball handle is good. I can dribble like a guard. You know, I finish at the rim. You know what I mean? I can shoot all over the court. You know what I'm saying? Like, and when I'm mashed up against, look, <laughs> come on, it's birdies. Like, I remember playing this game. I was having so much fun playing against that dude. Like, like the, the matchup with me and him was so crazy. And what's so fun about it, too, when I get matched up against other bigs that can't shoot at all, and all they can do is score in the paint, oh, my God, I love that. Look at that. Nine blocks, seven rebounds, 24 points. You know what I mean? Almost another triple-double. I remember I had a couple games, like two games, I had almost a quadruple double. Like, come on, bro. Like, man, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Drop a like. And my next video is going to be a shooting video. I'm giving away my jump shot. All right? I'm going to give you guys my jump shot and my SIGs. So please drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel.